Don't you worry though, because in the near future I will be making a video discussing whether or not Ash should bring back Pokemon from his past in order to help him on his final journey to become the world champion. Once again, I'm here to deliver. Yo, what is up guys? It is the Meteor Nut. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and welcome back to another Pokemon video on my channel. In our most recent Pokemon videos, we discussed whether or not Ash's past companions should return for the Pokemon Journeys anime. To which my answer was a resounding... YES! With that in mind, though I share this opinion for when it comes to the topic of Ash's companions coming back, do I share the same opinions for when it comes to Ash's Pokemon coming back? Uh, duh. If all of Ash's companions are coming back for what might arguably be his final adventure, why wouldn't all of his Pokemon come back too? With that being said though, I could see why it could be a bit more difficult for certain Pokemon to come back. Such as Pokemon that have been released or given to other people and that we haven't really seen for a very long time, I don't really see them coming back. Pokemon like Butterfree or Pidgeot or Lapras or Primeape. Part of me also kind of says Gudra, but I'm not 100% sure whether or not Ash actually released it. Like, it could very much be a Squirtle Squad situation where Squirtle's spending all his time fighting fires, but if Ash were ever to need it, it will come to his aid. At least that's what I'm hoping. Now looking back at the ideas I had when it comes to Ash's companions coming back, I mentioned how it won't just affect Ash, but his other companions being Go and Koharu. This time around though, aside from maybe a couple of cool flashbacks and storytelling, the return of Ash's Pokemon will mainly be for the benefit of Ash. Not just to hit the nostalgia factor for all the Pokemon fans who have been watching for years and years, but also as viable teammates for him to use during certain important battles during the World Championship. If you haven't watched my previous Pokemon videos, which I highly recommend, Ash isn't competing in a Pokemon League or battling in gyms or trials anymore. He's entering the World Championship, meaning he's going to be battling trainers and rivals and champions from all over the world. Because of this, I think it's even more important now more than ever that Ash calls back some of his old friends to help him during a battle. There are so many different ways that I could see it working and so many different epic team moments that I think can happen. Just like his companions, I definitely want to see every single one of Ash's Pokemon return. Or, you know, at least the Pokemon he has available. I feel like the Pokemon that makes the most sense aside from the obvious popular ones would be Pokemon that arguably need a little bit more story and development for them. Pokemon such as Gibble, Incineroar, Melmetal, Quilava, Bayleaf, Totodile, or, you know, any one of his Pokemon from the Black and White era. Yep, those still exist. There's definitely a lot of Pokemon that belong to Ash that should come back in order to progress their story. Speaking of stories though, let's talk about Pokemon who would make a lot of sense to come back, mainly because story-wise it makes a lot of sense. Now keep in mind these are just ideas and theories, but they do make a lot of sense to be possible. Seeing how this is the Pokemon World Championships, that means anyone can enter, especially a bunch of trainers who were either rivals of Ash or characters that we've been waiting for Ash to fight for a very long time. Before we get into it, don't worry, I do plan on making a video discussing which of Ash's old rivals should come back in Pokemon Journeys for a possible rematch or just for certain episodes. So if you're excited for that, make sure to click on that notification bell because I plan on making a lot of Pokemon content in the near future. In fact, like I mentioned in my previous video, if you guys want to see some really fun Pokemon content right now, then I definitely recommend you go check out Pokemon Journeys Abridged. It's a really fun abridged show that me and my Pokétuber friends have all teamed up to create. So make sure to click on the link in the description down below. With that said, when it comes to the topic of certain rivals and champions and predestined battles for Ash to fight to get to the World Championships, this also opens up the topic of certain Pokemon of Ash's returning for very special battles. To give you an idea of what I mean, imagine if Ash finally gets to the top 8 
which is said to be the highest of the highest powerful trainers in the entire world. Now let's say that one of those trainers happens to be a Pokemon League champion. In order to reach his goal, Ash is going to have to battle a bunch of champions this time around. Something if you told us before, we never would have believed. Now if memory serves, certain champions do owe Ash either a rematch or an actual match. Champions such as Cynthia, Lance, Diantha, and depending on the champion and the connection that they have with Ash, could also lead to the possible team that Ash uses to battle said champion. For example, if Ash were to battle Cynthia, I feel like it would be a crime if he didn't bring back his Sinnoh team in order to battle her. Just imagine Ash battling Cynthia with his Sinnoh team of Infernape, Torterra, Staraptor, Weasel, Gliscor, and possibly Gibble. It just makes a lot of sense, especially since Cynthia already has a bond with Ash and his Sinnoh Pokemon. A similar thing could be said to returning rivals who either Ash lost to or has never really had a real battle against. Characters such as Richie, Barry, Bianca, heck, even Alon. If Alon was to return to the series, there's no way that Ash would battle him without Greninja. Especially since the frog owes them a beatdown after that, uh, <laughs> display in the Kalos League. Yeah, yeah, you feel good with that trophy, Alon. We know what you did. We know you cheated. Maybe you don't realize it. Maybe it was all part of Lysander's plan, but we know you cheated. Speaking of Greninja, that also goes into the topic of bringing back popular Pokemon that Ash owned. This time around, especially since we recently got that big voting event for the most popular Pokemon of 2020, it would make a lot of sense for fan favorite Pokemon of Ashes to return. Pokemon such as Charizard, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Sceptile, Infernape, Crocodile, Greninja, Lycanroc. It would just make a lot of sense for these Pokemon to return not only to battle with Ash but also to just represent the series. All in all, I truly believe that every single one of Ash's Pokemon deserves a chance to return to the Pokemon anime. Just like I mentioned in the Companions video, if this is going to be his final adventure, then he should have everyone and every Pokemon that has led him to that moment. That way they're not only just representing the franchise, but representing Ash as a whole. I mean, come on, you can't go and tell me that you don't want to see certain Pokemon of Ashes from the past get a chance to get more representation, or in some cases, get the respect that they deserve. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Palpatode. If one frog gets respect, then all the frogs should get respect. Isn't that right, Kermit? Yeah! Respect the froggos. But even though I want all of Ash's Pokemon to return, I also understand that that's my opinion and I want to hear yours. Which of Ash's Pokemon would you like to see return? Also, though I didn't really talk much about it, which of his Pokemon would you like to see interact with the Pokemon in his current team? Personally, I would love to see Pokemon like Greninja or Infernape interacting with Riolu. Or how funny or cute would it be if Dragonite went around hugging all of Ash's smaller Pokemon? It's definitely a very fun thing to think about. With that in mind, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more amazing Pokemon content, please make sure to go check out Pokemon Journeys Abridged. It's a very fun comedic abridged show that me and my friends from the Any Pokétuber community have come together to create. So if you're a Pokemon fan and you're looking for some good laughs, make sure to check out the show right now by clicking down over at the links in the description below or in the iCards above. Once again, don't forget to go check out Mecha Imperfect and Silverstorm's amazing Pokemon covers. It's always great hearing new music from these guys, and I would really appreciate if you guys go and support them. They make covers from all across the video game landscape, not just Pokemon. So when you get a chance, make sure to go check them out and get ready to jam. I have a lot of amazing content that I have planned for November for you guys, so I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. So with that in mind, make sure to never forget to keep doing you, keep sharing laughs, and keep on... <sighs> Wait, what? I... I don't... I don't feel so good. Oh no. No. Nuts.